The world's largest fusion machine has set a world record for fusion energy production. We talked to one of the scientists working on this project to learn about how it was achieved, how it compares to other fusion projects around the world, and what it might mean for the future of fusion energy. The dream of an earthly energy source as clean and efficient as the reactions powering our sun has lived in the minds of researchers for decades. In order to achieve fusion reactions, so we're fusing together light nuclei, this is deuterium and tritium in this case, these are just hydrogen isotopes, we need to bring uh, the deuterium and the tritium to very high temperatures and very high pressures. We're talking over hundreds of millions of degrees Celsius. What we get is a plasma. It's an ionized gas. Recently, a new breakthrough at the Joint European Taurus, or JET for short, has brought this dream one step closer to reality. So the JET tokamak is actually the biggest fusion machine that we have in the world right now. It's a tokamak, a tokamak is just a donut-shaped device in which we hold the plasma using magnetic fields. We managed to achieve very high fusion energy. It's a record fusion energy ever produced. We're talking about 59 megajoules. We did this by using the fuel of future fusion reactors, which is deuterium and tritium, what we actually want to have. In most other experimental uh, plants, we are using just deuterium. So this was quite a unique thing. And of course, along the way doing this, we learned a lot about how the plasma itself behaves and how we can apply that knowledge to next fusion devices. The record-breaking plasma lasted five seconds, which is significant for fusion in this stage of development. However, the record for longest sustained nuclear fusion was recently broken by a different fusion device, China's artificial sun, which sustained its plasma for 17 minutes. I asked Dr. Kapatu to explain the difference between these two fusion milestones. The key difference between that is they don't use the deuterium tritium fuel mixture. Currently, JET is the only machine that can do deuterium and tritium together, which is the fuel mix we're going to use in any future fusion power plant. And of course, they don't reach the high temperatures that this kind of plasmas we run here. But of course, as you understand, for fusion research, everything has to go together. So we want also the duration. We want also the higher fusion power. So all of this combines at the end towards the common goal. <laughs> Despite the frighteningly high temperatures and memories of Dr. Otto Octavius' disastrous, albeit fictional, attempt at containing a fusion reaction with robot arms, Dr. Kapatu tells me that fusion of this sort is safe, clean, and sustainable. We get deuterium from seawater, uh, tritium, the future fusion power plant will be able to breed itself. We don't have any CO2, of course not. We don't have any long-lived radioactive elements remaining that we need to take care of. If something doesn't work, the uh, plasma shuts off itself. While breaking records is always exciting, there's still a long way to go before fusion starts supplying energy to power grids. JET is an experiment. JET was never meant to produce fusion energy in the terms of making it to electricity. Then we proceed to ITER, the machine being built in southern France, which is much bigger. We'll get into much higher fusion power, up to 500 megawatts. And for longer, we're talking about up to one hour. But ITER is still an experimental reactor. So then, we are designing the demo. Demo is a demonstration fusion power plant. So this is actually gonna show that we can produce electricity to fit to the grid. While the road to fusion power might be long, it's illuminated by exciting milestones like the recent record broken by JET. We're happy to announce results like this that show that we are on the right path. Are you excited by the prospect of a fusion powered future? Let us know by dropping some sun emojis down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time, what the fam?